Hi there, and it looks like I'm live. I'm not quite sure how many people are going to realize that I'm on here tonight. And hopefully this is going through my uh, through my YouTube account. I'm, I'm going to assume that's uh, that's where we are right now. So let's find out by uh, by checking on, like, of all places. Let's check YouTube first. As you can see, I'm in a darker area right now. And the reasoning for that is basically I'm trying something out new. Hey there, Chris. How's it going? Can you hear me okay? First off, let me know if you can hear me. Um, so what I'm doing tonight is I'm doing a a chat through StreamYard. The reason I'm trying this is because eventually what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be having some guests on this channel, and uh, I want to do it that way. The quality is going to be more like probably a 720p as opposed to what you normally get out of me. Hey there, Richard. Hey, Amy. But this is going to – if I can get this right, I'm actually – ordered a ring light. My better half did for me a while back. So we'll be doing that sometimes. I'll be using a ring light here as well. Um, so getting a bit more on the fancy side. Hey, there's Shadow. Tonight we're going to be talking about, like I promised you, the Vinegar Syndrome Limited Editions. And one of the reasons that I did that, and I did it this way, got to go with Tom and Jerry, is uh, that I can go onto my uh, my iPad. I have the iPad 10. Hey, there, Roy. And I just uh, and this way I, we can look at the limited editions. I can actually go through. Hey there, Sean. Uh, excellent. Because um, this uh, I've been using. I've used Streamyard as in like I've been a guest on other people's Streamyard. This opens up other options for my channel. And if this works okay, um, then we have things that we can do. Uh, some interesting little things. So tonight, what we were going to talk about is we were going to go through, like I promised you guys, we we're going to look at all of the limited editions that, that are now available from, from Vinegar Syndrome. We're going to talk about them. We're going to let you know exactly how many are left, and we're going to discuss, uh, well, other stuff from there on out. But it's uh, I've set up my, uh, my blue uh, microphone there, and I've got my uh, – I'm, I'm going off my nitro. So hopefully the quality is okay. It's not going to be the quality that you would see on like my iPad, but uh, it should uh, it should do good. It, it should do good enough for now. As you can see, I'm in my uh, hey there, Alan. Welcome, man. I'm in my uh, my my I guess my study, my work area. It, this is where I uh, spend most of my day at. As you can see, I've got like my comfy chair here in the background and my T-shirt, which I took off earlier, right there. All right. So before we go any farther. Uh, or going to anything? Do you want to just dive right into the limited editions? Want to go? Want to start going through them, talking about them, looking at the uh, looking at the numbers? I can actually. I can share my screen, and uh, I can have guests on here sometimes as well. So you will be seeing that as as something that comes up too. Uh, there's a couple people that uh, that have like been interested in doing that. So I will eventually be having a couple guests on here. And we'll be talking about like uh, different subjects, and this is a good way for me to test out a video version of what is initially going, what is eventually going to be my audio podcast. So if uh, if that interests you, then uh, fantastic. All right, so I went from old to new when it came to the uh, the limited editions for Vinegar Syndrome. And I'll go through them all. I won't spend a lot of time on like the adult titles. I know not a lot of people are interested in those, but I will let you know what's left on every one of the uh, how much is left on every title. That way, you can get ready and prepare. If I go through something, for instance, and it's something that you're interested in, or something that uh, you've got you're kind of curious about, please feel free to ask. I can. Uh, the good thing about this is, aside from just being on here like this, I can actually type comments in here in here as well, and, and speak with you that way. As as, long, as well as as well as speak to you on here, so uh, I've started from old to new because I want to go up to like the newer ones. We'll know if they are then, but I find with a lot of the older titles, then you're getting stuff that is getting closer to uh, to selling out. Uh, the way a lot of, a lot of the limited editions work for uh, Vinegar Syndrome is that they're limited by by slipcover, and after that, you then you get them without the slipcover. However, if you are familiar with Vinegar Syndrome titles then you're going to know that sometimes the slipcover is money, baby. 
and gives like a gorgeous, gorgeous look for you. So let's go through them. You guys comment and talk the way we normally do. I want to see how this is going to work. I'm actually very excited about this. So one thing I'll ask you right now, is the video quality okay? Uh, because to do StreamYard, you can't, there's no app for StreamYard on a on an iPad or something like that. So I use my uh, my computer, which was going to be my work computer, which eventually became my gaming computer. So I'm using on a uh, on a Nitro 5. And, and until I can get any type of like web camera to go with this, uh, the Nitro 5 camera is what I what I'm going to use at this uh, at this present time. Thank you, Good. thank you, Shadow. You got back to me really quickly. All right, so public affairs. I think that's one of their adult titles, right? Yeah, of course. Paul Thomas um, is running at 661 copies. So uh, there's still a few copies of that left. You know, um, still waiting for your October bundle. I actually got it right behind me, Sean. This is one of the October bundle titles right here, which I think you're going to love. Cemetery of Terror. Hey there, Alvin. Welcome, man. Welcome to a very different edition of uh, of this here. I did. I decided to do this up here because I'm not quite sure on the uh, on the connection what it's going to be like down in the movie library. Yeah, I will eventually like try one down in the movie library with this. But as for right now, uh, I'm very close to my uh, to my modem. So if I if I need to, I could even hardwire in. The October bundle, Sean, is worth waiting for. It is a thing of glory. So I don't think many people are interested in public affairs, but there's 661 title it, ones when it comes to that. Now, one that I did show last night that a lot of people seemed interested in, especially when I mentioned that, is uh, what? Okay, what well, was I going to say? Anyway, so one of the things that I mentioned, Alan, you're. <laughs> uh, does anybody else find the, the the find this blurry, or is everybody else okay with the quality? It's because I'm like I'm stopping for a second, to like just to make sure, because I heard that. Uh, okay, thanks. So. That was a bit confusing. So, <laughs> sounds more important, anyways. That 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 doesn't exactly make me feel good. <laughs> I mean, it makes me think that the quality is not the greatest. And uh, this is a webcam, but I it's it is the uh, the best that I can do for this one right here. Um, but I do want you to be able to see the screen. So if this is not coming across, then definitely let me uh, let me know because then I won't be able to use this as often as I thought. And I do want to be able to use this basically to do uh, videos and interviews and conversations with other people. So that's the uh, that's going to be the big thing there. All right, so distraction over with. Uh, Zombie Island Massacre is running at 976. Um, and that's, uh, that's still, you know, that, that's, that's still a lot there. Thank you, Dungeon. I really appreciate that. Um, but it's a cool slipcover, and Zombie Island Massacre is actually a fun little film that I do recommend. So if that's one that you're looking into and you want the slipcover edition of that one, hey, they're ready. Welcome, man. Then definitely, definitely look, look that up. If you're a trauma fan, then Flesh-Eating Mothers might be more your style. Uh, I'm iffy on Flesh-Eating Mothers, so if anybody has it and they know me and they know like, if it's something that they think that I'll like, hey, there's Sam McClector. Uh, then definitely let me uh, let me know. Hey, Kubrick. But there's 860 copies left of Flesh Eating Mothers. Uh, and of all the titles that are there, although the, the cover's really good, I'm not quite sure if that's going to be something that is going to be kind of going out of print anytime in the uh, in the near future. So I think we're good with Flesh Eating Mothers. A Thousand One Erotic Nights 1 and 2, that's a double feature. And it actually has a really a neat little cover on it is down to 493. So you like fussing mothers? Maybe I'll give it a try then. I like your taste. So I'm a big fan of like these films and I did like Thousand One Rock Nights number one. Part two is okay as well. So if you do like the adult titles, uh, then that is one of the, definitely one of the better ones. And you get a lot of, pardon the pun, bang for your buck because it is going to be 493 
that are uh, that are available in stock right now, and it is a double feature, so you don't get a lot of those. Same with like if you're a fan of the movie Justine, which again is another uh, more hardcore title. Uh, we'll eventually get to the to the to the regular expectation titles. Yeah, that one is at a uh, four hundred seventy-two uh, right now in the limited edition, so you can still grab that one as a limited edition. Uh, the double feature Hard Soap and Disco Lady, however, only has a hundred and seventy-four, uh, so that one is really getting down there. We'll stop like as we go. Now the the thing about this is that I can see all your comments on here, so I don't have to look at them on uh, on this here. Though the thing that really kind of like can I be honest? That makes me a bit uh, a bit more on the nervous side. Is uh, I uh, I'm gonna just check my. I don't know how many people are watching, <laughs> and I don't think or I don't know if like if even the super chat thing is available at this point. You got a Nitro Five too, William? With the Nitro Five Club, I like the Nitro Five. I think it's a really nice computer. Uh, you can game on it, and you can do programming on it as well. And I was going to going to go back to school for computer programming. I ended up not doing it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Evan. Uh, so uh, this computer was the one I was going to be using for programming. All right. So there are 96 people. Uh, 96 people. <laughs> I wish. Uh, so there are 96 uh, uh, copies of the Spookies vinyl soundtrack LP. Now, Vinegar Cinema aren't really known for putting out a lot of LPs. Yes, definitely. Please hit the like button, like, share, subscribe, all that type of jazz. Uh, and I don't know much about their uh, about their. I haven't seen much of their music uh, stuff. So there is a spooky soundtrack LP that was put up from Terrorvision. Apparently, the first pressing was 180 grams translucent pink with uh, with the blue wisps, and the second pressing is gonna ha it was 140 gram orange blue. Um, and addition size for the first pressing was 200. And for the uh, second pressing was 300. It looks to be down to 96, and we're at the second pressing right now. So they've already sold over 200 copies. Well, actually, almost over almost four, over 400 copies of the uh, Spookies LP. And if you're a soundtrack collector and you've already got Spookies, which is an excellent edition from uh, from from Vinegar Syndrome, then maybe that that's the next one to grab. As far as the VSA goes, oh, thank you, Alan. Uh, I was I was unsure actually. The uh, Savage Don is still available, and by the way, Savage Don I thought was a really cool one. Do I know what the what the VS yearly subscription cost is? Well, for me here in Canada, I think it runs between seven and eight hundred dollars uh, for the U U.S. And somebody that may, might have, if you got it here, you can de definitely correct me because I don't know a lot when it comes to the subscription. Because I've never gotten it, though I've looked longly at it many, many times. I think it's like five or six hundred dollars there in the U.S. If I'm, uh, if I'm correct. So that's uh, hopefully kind of correct. I just keep an eye out for for when it comes up. If it's something you can afford, cinematic collector, definitely go for it. Uh, but uh, for me personally, right now, it's almost on a month by month basis. But if there's a month I'm really interested in and I can't do the other subscription, I do try to grab the bundle as soon as possible because I know that the prices do go up and recently Vinegar Syndrome's prices have gone up a couple of dollars on each title. So Savage Down with Lance Hengstrom has 686 copies. Now, unlike the other limited editions that I mentioned to you before, uh, Savage Down is, again, a VSA title. So it's going to come with the hard box. It's going to come with the big poster. And once those 686 are sold out, you are not going to see more of them come up on the uh, uh, to become available. There's not going to be a non-limited edition version of Savage Town. So this is one, if you want to get it as a VSA title, much like Evil Town, uh, you want to grab it while, while it's still in stock. It won't be coming back around. Now, I showed you the Amityville Curse Collection box set last night. Uh, one of my prides and joys in my collection, and I really love all four films in that box set. There's not one that I that I don't like, and I did go it over. Yep, S Savage Don has George Kennedy. It has Lance Henriksen. 
Uh, I think there's a small role for Liz Elizabeth Caton in it as well, by the way. It was you, you guys know I'm a big fan of. Hey there, Jason. Welcome, man. Hey there, 4K. I am on stream error, so I'm trying something different. Which, hopefully, you can see me okay. It's a little dark, a little mysterious, but uh, I d I'm waiting for a ring light to come. So then it'll be a little bit light lighter in here. Uh, so the Anvil Curse Collection is down to only 104 copies for the box set. I'm sure they'll put them out singularly on their own afterwards. Nice. Okay, so Shadow just said there, and I'm just sure you guys read, uh, that uh, Disconnected, which is a title that I really did like, and it did go out of like uh, did go to print, is going to be coming back with a standard edition, which is something that wasn't going to happen initially. So that's going to be something to grab during the Black Friday sale. It is an actually really cool film. The ones not coming back, Jason, are the VSAs. So VSAs don't get standard edition. So when you see something like a Vinegar Syndrome, Archive edition, just to give you an example, because I got my October bundle right here because I'm still watching it. This is Necromancer from uh, Vinegar Syndrome. Does a knock test. Stream error is way easier to figure out than I uh, than I, I was initially nervous of it, uh, but uh, but I'm actually enjoying it. And uh, the neat thing about it is I can have another person in there talking about something as well. Summer Camp Nightmare is one of those titles that I remember seeing, like, in the VHS stores, like, for years. And at one point, uh, 4K, I got confused with uh, with Sleepaway Camp, although they're very, very different films. And I don't really consider Summer Camp Nightmare a horror film, but it's an interesting film. It's, it's a fun film. Uh, and I haven't seen it in years. But I still remember that cover. Like really, really plainly. Flesh Gordon. I would love to see Flesh Gordon one too. Although Cosmic Cheerleaders isn't the best. I'm a completist, so I would want them both. I don't think this one's gonna sell out. We're gonna go through all the all the VSAs. So I think Jason, you'll be you'll be safe. Uh, but we'll check the uh, the amounts of each of these here. A uh, Necromancer with Elizabeth. Look at that. Look at those green eyes, man. But if you don't want to miss out on the Amityville Curse Collection box set, it is down to 104 copies right now. Decoder is running at 405 copies. I actually don't have the one, so I really there's not a lot that I can say about it. Did I get a PS5? Uh, some I have looked at the PS5 and the Xbox Series X so much over the last few days, but unfortunately I can't afford it right now. Uh, eventually I do want to uh, have... Uh, have both the systems, and I keep going back and forth on which one I want to get first. Um, I want to. I look. I look at the PS5, and I love the look of it. My better half doesn't. She doesn't like the look of the PS5, but uh, she likes the Xbox Series X. That's. Uh, she was a big fan of the Xbox One S during this uh, this this round. I'm actually surprised too. The Anvil set is actually one of the more gorgeous, most one of the more gorgeous sets that they put out, and and it's four quality films, four like really like solid film shadow. Which I which I really enjoy. Hey there, Ken. Open your PS5 later. Oh, I'm jealous, CW. I'm super jealous. Are you gonna leave it upright or are you gonna put it down? See, because for me, it looks so good upright. I would have I need it more space. I need to find a way to put it up. All right, so let my puppets come, which actually is a, a decent film. And it's uh and it's done by Gerard Dam 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 Damiano. So, if uh, you like Gerard Dam Damiano, then uh, stuff, then def you're definitely gonna want this one. Have I ever owned the ColecoVision console? Back in the day, I did. Yes, I owned all the old consoles back uh, back when I was younger. I was very spoiled by my grandparents when it came to my consoles. Uh, like I had like uh, the Atari Twenty Six Hundred when it came out. I had I had, I had like Pong before that. And I had, of course, the uh, the Radio Shack uh, TRS-80, where I played Dungeons of Dagorath, which I'm sure nobody's going to remember the game but me, but Dungeons of Dagorath was an awesome game when you are a kid. So I don't want to say the full title of this movie out, but I will say, like, uh, the Nine Lives is down to 414 title, 414, 14, uh, like, for the limited edition on that one as well. 
a lot of the horror ones are the ones that kind of go faster. So when you go, when you go on there and you look at the horror, like make sure that's the stuff that you're looking towards. Uh, Hellmaster is a uh, one that's uh, running now at a uh, approximate has approximately 305 copies left. It's a fun little title. It's a uh, it's a John Saxon film. I, I'm a huge fan of John Saxon. What's a movie I have not? You have not in your movie room where basically never gets put in the movie room. There's a few titles actually, uh, Kubrick, and and the reason for that is because. There's some titles I just watch kind of like over and over again. So things like the Al Adamson set, like the uh, the Friday the 13th set, uh, some, there's certain vinegar syndromes that I kind of watch over and over again. My indicator sets, like right behind me, you, you can't see it there, but my uh, my indicator uh, Samuel Fuller set, I do watch a lot of that. Hey, middle of the media, I was watching one of your videos today, actually. Um, and in case you're wondering which one, it was the one where you went to the uh, to get the Criterion stuff, but you didn't tell, show us the Criterion stuff. So later on tonight, I am going to watch the video where you unbox it. Not big in the coder, Jason? Dungeon is tempted on nine lives. Anybody have Hellmaster? I'm kind of curious about that one. Now, one that I did have a lot of fun with was a little one called Play Dead. Uh, not something for everybody, but uh, Play Dead is definitely a fun little title. It has 748 in stock right now. I do like the slipcover to play dead. It's got this uh, satanic dog on, on it. And it's uh, it's fun. Avon De Carlo from The Monsters is in it. And it's a different little film, but it's one that I actually really enjoyed. It was a really good video, video mid-level. I love your out and about videos. I'm a big out and about video person. But it's good to see someone that actually likes some stuff that I do. Super cheesy and fun. Shadow, super cheesy and fun is my middle name. So that that is definitely something that's going to go on the list of stuff that I'm looking at. Mascara, which is one that I recommended last night. That is an adult film, just to let you know. It is done by Henry Prichard, but it is it is shot by the fantastic Roberta Finley. Hey, Jer Jerry L. I'm going to find out which vinegar cinnamon tires are potentially going into print altogether. Well, Jerry, the best way to see what vinegar cinnamon tires are going to print, either Tommy, is that basically... Anything that's that's listed as a VSA, a Vinegar Syndrome archive title, those are going out of print. If there's any titles that Vinegar Syndrome have during their sales, like like for instance, uh, it was just mentioned there, Shadow said that uh, Disconnected is coming back in, in a standard edition. Now, for uh, I'm in the office tonight, actually, yeah. For those that know um, Disconnected, you know I'm a fan of the film. I like the lot, It's got a lot of really good features on there as well. And, uh, and before that one went out of print, they let people know that that was going out of print and there wasn't going to be any after that. So for Disconnected, it's one that they were able to get like rights to and bring back. Uh, so during the sale, that's one to look for too because that is going to be a fun little title. But Mascara, 462. The Pink Ladies against another adult title, which is 471. I don't know a lot about that one, so I can't uh, tell you anything. I bet that total right there. Hey there, Ron. You're I'm super excited for the vinegar serum sale. Did you manage to grab the everything bundle when the uh, when they put it up for a while? Yeah, that's a good question. I'd like to know here, like who? Hey there, Dick. Uh, who grabbed the the everything bundle when when it came up? Like I just as soon as I saw fade to black, I had to grab the everything bundle. So I'd like to know, like, get like a little like uh, jump out there and let me know. Did you grab the the everything bundle? Hey there, Pinga. Did you grab the the T-shirt that was only available during the uh, that uh, that pre-order? Did you just decide to grab a couple things like Beastmaster, or are you just waiting for the sale to decide what you're uh, what you're going to get out of the newer stuff? Now, me, uh, the one thing I do recommend, if you can possibly do it at the time, uh, everything bundle and T-shirt, same as me, Dick. I had to do that too. Is that if you can do it when it comes? Yeah, oh, you're great then, Shadow. <laughs> you're set. Is grab if you're if you're not a subscriber, the Shadow the, the sale mid level is going to be on from the 27th. Let me just bring it up here. I think to the 29th. But let me let me make sure. Oh, Severin should be should be having a sale, Dave, during that time. And of course, as always, their uh, your favorite like uh, t-shirt companies are going to be definitely having their sales there too. So it's going to be from to, from the 27th to the 30th. And uh, so more than likely that's going to end up being like on the, you know, 
late night on the 26th, uh, you know, 12, 12 a.m., 1159, whatever, that's when the sale is going to start. Hey there, Suma. So he just pre-ordered Beastmaster planning to get both VSA titles, Fade to Black, Forgotten Jelly, and two and the two secret titles. So you know you could have saved yourself some money. Uh because uh the other titles would have almost been like uh bonuses. I think they are, I mean, I like Jose Larraz, and if you like Jose Larraz, uh it's usually broken up into two things. Jose's Jose Larraz, uh, Jerry has his earlier titles, which are kind of his more uh, artistic toes, I like to call them, like uh, like vampire and stuff, like vampire vampires and stuff like that. And then there's the '80s Jose Larraz, which is more along the lines of like Deadly Manor and Edge of the Axe and that style. So if you like the Jose Larraz stuff, that's more like Deadly Manor, Edge of the Axe, that style stuff. He's more of his '80s content. Then that's what you're going to get with uh, Rest in Pieces. Uh, Who Done It is a fun little title. It's one that I really enjoy. It's not going to be something where anybody's going to win an Oscar for the acting or anything, but it's basically a uh, kind of a how do you put this? Yeah, and then there were none. Uh, basically, base it's basically, and then there were none with some like uh, twists and little turns on it. I like the the kind of like the little. It can get a bit grating, but I did like the kind of punk song that was used for the uh, murders. Uh, yeah, and there you go. If Shadow is to watch Rest in Pieces and said it's better than Man, the Man or Axe, then if you like Man or Axe, then get on that one. And that's good actors in it too, so that's also a good thing. Taking Tiger Mountain is down to 78. What? Whoa, okay. So, Taking Tiger Mountain, if that's when you're in a sense of Bill Paxton film. Do I remember the horror film called Junior with, with the chainsaw, right? It's like he's, he's like cutting with the chainsaw through, uh, almost like he's cutting through the VHS box. That I do remember, actually. I haven't seen it in years, but like for some reason, it's one of those that like the much like some so like summer part, camp nightmare. It just sticks in my head. So yeah, on um, seventy eight copies are left of Taking Tiger Mountain. Uh, I didn't know that one was going to go so fast, but uh, now Night Owl's got three hundred nine, and I do, uh, and I am kind of excited about uh Yeah, apparently I've heard that they're going to be emailing a uh, code. I haven't received anything yet, Ron. Uh, let me know if anybody else, anybody here, uh, like I know Shadow's got the got the subscription. So Shadow, have you received any email yet talking about the code uh, and about the uh, the missing poster from Spellcaster? I'm guessing it'll be, it'll be like just a small code, probably for like five dollars or something like that. But every little bit helps when you're uh, when you're going in towards a sale. And five dollars off of like a uh, something like a VSA title definitely can be uh, can be a difference maker for me when I'm looking at what I'm going to be buying. Night Owl, which is one I am really looking at. Night Owl is one I passed up on like uh, early on, and I really didn't wasn't big onto the cover of it. I, I didn't really look into it that much. I didn't remember it, uh, but I've heard a lot of really good things about Night Owl. It has John Leguizamo, who was an actor that I that I really really like. So that's uh, something that I'm kind of interested about. Yeah, probably. I don't see them like bringing it in anytime sooner. More than likely, there will, it'll be something that a code that can be activated right away, and you want to make sure that you don't get it pre-sale and use it. Oh, the October bundle is, is excellent. I mean, this here Necromancer is from the October bundle right there. Uh, Cemetery of Terror uh, is from the October bundle, and this it, this see this one here. This is Shores. I'm picking up Grave Robbers because look at this, look at this. Like that is gorgeous. You're having issues with the phone. Oh, you're asking about phone. I have issues, Warlock? No, I'm working on StreamYard today because I'm trying a different format uh, because this can enable me eventually to actually have guests on the channel. And that's something that I'm actually interested in. <laughs> so the passing is 156 copies left. And I'll be honest with you, I know very, very little bit of the passing. I have a feeling it's something that I would like. But uh, to say, like, I know it, no, I don't. <laughs> there were 683 left for Lust in the Dust, which kind of surprises me because that's the title I thought was going to be more of a bigger seller for uh, for Vinegar Syndrome. You got Divine, you got Tab Hunter. It's uh, directed by uh, Paul Bartel. Did you really? Was he up there? 
See, uh, behind me, you can see right there. That's their uh, the place where they, you know, they rest on, they play it, stuff like that. So when I'm up here, you're definitely probably going to have a better. If I connect to you, connect to the PS3, one looks at live chat. That is kind of strange. Passing his hands, one of Vinegar Syndrome's best releases. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so, and you see, there's the thing, guys. I know a lot of the Vinegar Syndrome titles, but I don't know them all. So I rely on you guys for letting me know on titles that I don't know about or that I haven't seen. The one that I did, hey there, Ringo, welcome, man. One that I really did enjoy and that I do want to say, like, I want to see them do more of these titles and this style of title because there is, like, this whole, like, 90s arts uh, time, like, time period where basically you would have, like, this whole, like, like bunch of, like, these um, these fatal attraction, the sexploitation style films, right? Let, your, let my puppets... Definitely is. I mean, uh, Demanio is one of the great innovators when it comes to adult cinema. Uh, so for that alone, uh, I, I think it's actually a pretty cool title to check out. He actually always puts a bit of... He, his idea, Jerry, was to push the genre into, like, into making it mainstream. Unfortunately, that didn't work in the way that he wanted it to, but he did his damnedest to try and actually make it uh, so that it had like, uh, so that there were storylines, so that it was challenging, that there was different unique things within his films. And uh, that uh, that's something you can look forward to when it comes to when uh, any title by Damiano. Well, the YouTube, I'm a small channel song. That's the thing. I got just like uh, around 26, 2,700 viewers, kind of somewhere around there. So I'm, I'm still a very small channel. Uh, YouTube promotes the Logan Pauls of the world. Uh, hopefully one of these days. I don't know if I want to get up to that level because I do like kind of the intimacy of having like a channel where I can just sit back and actually chat with uh, with a lot of my uh, like like my closest friends and people that I really enjoy talking to on here. Uh, but I would love to see YouTube promote my channel. I'll see companies like Vinegar Syndrome that promote my channel as well because I talk about them a lot. So who knows? One of these days maybe they will. Uh, so... Party Line has 232 copies left. I do recommend Party Line. It's a really fun little title. I know somebody on here last night said that they weren't like too big a fan of it. Actually, I thought it was a lot of fun. I really like Leaf Garrity. He's particularly creepy in the uh, in the brother role in this one. And Greta Blackburn is incredible in the role that she does. And as always, Richard Hatch is uh, is solid in the film. But uh, I want to see more like that. Now, if you are an Andy Milligan fan. Seeds and Vapors is still available. This one's probably one of the more ones that's been around the longest in the uh, limited editions. It's 377 uh, copies that is that is at right now, and it's part of a short-lived uh, series that Vinegar Syndrome did called like the Sexploitation series. There are only four titles in the series. Um, I have two of them right now, and uh, the other two that I need to get are Seeds and Vapors, and uh, I think uh, Red Rose is a Passion. Small discount, not as a bundle. There's the thing. Uh, I think Jerry, that like for October, it'll be discount. If it's discounted, it'll be discounted very little. You're probably better off buying the October bundle as a bundle and getting the bundle discount uh, as as opposed to buying them like separately and getting like uh, probably what's going to end up being like a smaller discount in the long run. Oh, Jeff from Films at Home does some really great stuff. I, I don't know. Like it's it's uh one of those that uh that you know, obviously bit of a wound there, some <laughs> something like that. What do I think the VSA titles will be? Uh, and do I think any MGM titles will be the two new if necessary? Um I'm hoping uh well I've heard rumors about martial law, like a Cynthia Rothrock films. Uh they said that. There, there's three Vinegar Syndrome type, like action type films that are going to be on, on it. So there's going to be a double feature and one that's going to be on its own. So like, 
rumors is there's been something like a Santa Rathra October feature. I'm not sure if it's going to be martial arts, something like that for sure. But there has been rumors on something something like that. So uh, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for Cynthia Rothrock. But either way, uh, if it's going to be three action titles, I found that the VSA action titles I've actually really enjoyed. Uh, LA Wars, 100% love that one. All right. Trip with the Teacher, which is something I'm really going to have to pull the trigger on soon. I keep saying I'm going to get it, and I don't. It is at 542 I do expect that one to maybe sell out during the, or getting get close to selling it during the sale. Uh, it's a really good title, and I'm really surprised that a lot of people haven't picked it up yet. But uh, Earl Barton only ever like made uh, one film. He only ever directed one film, and this is it. That's what I thought. It's like my shadow. Like I, I've got like uh, Saint Rothrock on Facebook and that. And uh, she did say she did like uh, the martial eye interviews, and that came around uh, like around the same time that I saw Vinegar Syndrome announce that there's going to be two titles on uh, one of the uh, one, for one of the one of them there. So let's just see something. I'm kind of curious about something here. So there is right only two martial law films, right? And I'm really hoping that it's not something that's just going to like. That this doesn't turn to be like an 88 films thing. <laughs> I love 88 film, but I would love to see it go on Vinegar Syndrome. One of the neat things about Trip with the Teacher is it has Zalman King in it. And of course, he's a guy that would go on to create like things like the Red Shoe Diaries, which are was bloody brilliant. So yeah, you got Chad McQueen, Cynthia Rothrock, David Carradine in the first martial law. Well, Black Friday be too. Well, it's going to be expensive for me, Warlock. Right now, it's, things, everything's expensive for me right now. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I think it's going to be pretty good. I, I did make what I think was the smart decision of buying the uh, the everything thing, the everything bundle when I when I actually had the money to do it, uh, which lets which lets me kind of like breathe a sigh of relief and just grab a few of the titles that I can and actually be able to focus on like grabbing the VSAs if I need them to catch up on the VSAs. And if, uh, you know, if I got enough extra left over, then I'll, maybe I can grab it a couple other titles as well. All right. So they gave it, they put it with the slip cover and it's still a great title if you don't have it. And that is uh, Evils of the Night, which is has 662. And if you don't have Evils of the Night, you should get it. It's a really fun title. It really, really is. See, seven with eight titles would normally have been killer. I was very nervous um, with about that. But so far, I'm going to be honest with you, Warlock, the four titles that they've come out with, none of them are anything that I'm interested in, in grabbing on uh, on sale day. So, like, they're interesting titles, uh, but none of them are must for me. There isn't, like, so far, the, the four titles that they mentioned now, the eight, have not been must. So they would really have to change around. What's uh what's coming up and uh like how they gonna put it a box set if it's a Milligan box set I might wait if it's a Black Emmanuel box set I might uh um, that one I might grab was there a shoot the teacher yeah there was actually uh, <laughs> I don't remember much better right now yeah well, that's the way I like to see it like hopefully to connect with people. All right, so another one, the, one of the slipcover ones that came out is uh, is the Psychic Killer. Now, that's down to 283. Um, yeah, Evil, Evil's of Night in Evil Town, if you're meant to grab Evil Town when it came out, is a great double feature. It is it is a little bit lofty, and I hope that if they're going to go for eight titles, uh, that they're not going to be shoving in a couple box sets there along the way. Because I think that's going to be a little bit of a little bit of the overkill. They did mention, like during one of their uh, when the podcast that they did, that there that there may be some Jess Frankel coming. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see something like Bloody Moon getting a uh, remastered edition with uh, some extra bonus features there as well. So that's 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 the type of thing I'm expecting. Yeah, you know, in the last four, but as for the first four, like it it's ensured me that I'm proud that I'm not going to be grabbing. Like I bought a lot of seven bundles this year 
I probably won't be grabbing the Black Friday bundle from Severin because the first four titles are only like a passing interest to me right now. Graduation name Madman. I haven't actually got up to pigs yet. That's actually the next one I'm gonna I'm gonna get to, which is a really cool film actually, Vincent. Uh, pigs is with the slip cover is down to 474. Now, I guess one thing I, I should be doing, I could be doing for you guys. So this is the slip cover to pigs right here, which is an interesting little film. I really got to, you did. You, oh, they said you hate it. A grave robbers is supposed to be really good. Jerry, that's one that I need to get. Um, the Ruben Galindas junior titles are, are things that I think once they go out of print are things that are going to be highly sought after. Those are ones that people are going to like, even though there's going to be like regular editions of them come out. Uh, again, I, I refer you to this here slipcover, which maybe just, it's just me, but I think it is, it's gorgeous. I really do. Pigs is one I got as a, as a, as a trauma release. But as you guys know, some of the trauma DVD releases, unfortunately, don't always have the best quality. So I would love to upgrade uh, upgrade Pigs. Luther the Geek I got. I only need the, really the slip for that one. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to just buy the slip. I do like Luther the Geek the way it is. Um, that is down to 635 I don't see that one selling out during the sale. I would be very surprised if it did. Night Train to Terror, however, there's 239 slip cover editions of Night Train to Terror that are left. And as you guys know, I definitely will talk to you guys about Night Train and Terror. That's a fun film. It's the very first Vinegar Syndrome title that I uh, that I ever picked up. And uh, it is one that I always recommend to people. If you haven't seen it, definitely see it. It has an extra film called Greta, and that's really worth checking out. Hey there, Flip. Welcome, man. As you can see, I'm on StreamYard now. So eventually, this makes uh, like the ability to do uh conversations possible <laughs> how many libraries they have <laughs> so right here if you look behind me right now you can see there's a lot of like comics and that around there and there's a, a, a whole shelf that you can't see as well it's kind of a, it's messier which has a lot of like uh different things like uh, books both uh, french and english uh and uh you'll you'll see a lot of different things uh there i have of course my movie library downstairs which is in uh, the uh, the basement area in a uh, we definitely do flip actually that would be actually cool uh, I have another room which is just for TV and uh, for TV shows and uh, and kind of like uh, like kind of geeky things like figures and action figures and stuff like that uh, and a few Funkos but a lot of my Funkos are actually upstairs now and my better has Funko she has a bit of a Funko collection there. She grabbed the uh, the Natasha and Fearless Leader ones actually recently. It was on sale. Yeah, this actually is a really good, like, I'm very impressed with what I've seen so far with StreamYard. It enables me to, like, really kind of, like, just sit back and relax a bit. I can see your conversation really well. I can use my iPad to show you guys stuff. Uh, I don't have to look at your com. I don't have to look down here or to uh to see what you guys are saying i can look and i don't have to worry about it like going back going through too uh too quickly and if uh and you can go from like a, you can have a couple people on here at a time uh, which is as really cool as well and that might come into play when i do funkos can go for some really high prices i we're not like funko collectors in the fact of like is like having to have everything but uh we do like uh want to have like a few uh, titles uh during the uh like w w there's a few that we like if like i like smallville so uh i've got like the uh the lex luther one and i've got the clark one and i and i just picked up the Lois lane one recently i'm gonna guess there's not gonna be a chloe Sullivan, which is a shame because i uh, like you know some i was the exact same way the exact same way i i would see people with the funkos there i didn't get it i didn't understand it I picked up a couple, man, and it you just it's something that gets that gets to you. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm a huge Tommy Jerry fan, and Mr. Awesome. I love that that name, by the way. I do apologize if I missed something there, but Shadow, thanks for letting them know about the uh, about the slip cover. We want to see someone's release 
we're going to eat you. I don't know if I've seen that one, Tracy, honestly. Don't like the eyes on them? I'm just trying to see if I got one of my Funkos back here. Sometimes I... Yes, I do. So this, for instance, is my Gyrotech Mega Man Funko. I'm a huge fan. Oh, look, this is what got me to buy Funko. See, see this? This is the 8 bits. So I like the 8 bit kind of like pixelized looking type Funko. I know it's silly, but I just, uh, that's what got me into it. Because I had picked up an amiibo, an amiibo from uh, when I had the, the Wii U, and that was the, the uh, Mario edition that they had it there, the 8 bit Mario edition. Rick Schaefer having Wonder Woman. That's cool. I like how I've seen how Riders Jerry. Uh, it's a fun little film. I actually enjoyed it. You get to see uh, Adam West and Adam West stunt double in uh, in a lot of the scenes. Um, and of course, uh, you get Ginger from Gilligan's Island. <laughs> Plastic Beanie Babies. Hopefully, people aren't collecting them more like to to make money off of. Because much like any of this stuff, it you know it, it, it it's going to have like a a limited, like uh, in my opinion, <laughs> that like value, uh, down like down the road. When it, but they got to be stuff you like. So if you're collecting Funkos, collect them for yourself. It's been a pretty long lasting fad though. And as for like Cabbage Patch Kids, although Cabbage Patch Kids came in kind of nutty and crazy i actually was around uh to uh when uh, cabbage patch kids was a big thing i saw people fighting over them in a store which is ridiculous um uh, they're still around like <laughs> cabbage patch kids are still around so although they may not have the publicity that they once had it's still a thing hell rod is kind of like an al absent film yeah i got i can see that i did have a lot of fun with it though. i really did though i do have a lot of fun with al absent's work as well but uh if you like Adam West, if you like Tina Louise, uh, then and you like biker films, there you go. I haven't watched much Tom and Jerry lately, except for the older stuff. Punk Vacation with the slip covers down to 433. So if you want to grab that one, uh, that's fun. Monster ones like Godzilla. I don't have any Godzilla ones. I want some of those NECA Godzilla figures, though. And the one that a lot of people keep telling me to get is the telephone book. The telephone book now is a slip as well that has. 962 copies that are still available so that one is definitely not going to be selling out during the sale but uh the telephone book is uh is one of those titles oh ask me if, i'm a, just a big comic book kind of like cartoon fan me and my better half like uh my better half especially collects cartoons punk vacation i haven't seen in years jason let me be totally honest with you there's two films on the on the on the disc though Oh, telephone book is definitely not a cartoon. Uh, telephone books is very much a. Oh, is one of those that everybody like. Shadow says everybody recommends telephone book. Like anytime anybody goes on vinegar syndrome, so like what what should I pick up? Telephone book is actually pretty awesome. I forgot there's an animated sequence in telephone book actually. This made two. All right. So are there that many limited editions that are, I'm only at page two? Okay. So they're newer. So Memorial Valley Massacre, Killing Birds are both going to have over a thousand copies right now. Spellcaster VSA sell out over a thousand copies. So I think you're good with that. Brian, you got cool taste. Now, AGFA sometimes Aunt Martha does dreadful things with the limited edition slipcover. Is um, has a thousand copies left as well. So if you're a AGFA collector, then definitely worth uh, checking out. You, at, you find the telephone book at a pawn shop? Was it the Vinegar Syndrome edition? Here's one that d definitely has over a thousand copies left, but it's one I'm interested in, and it's called The Collar. I'm a huge Matt McDowell fan. And that's one that uh, that I am really intrigued in, and I'm picking up. Again, Pandemonium's over a thousand copies with that one. 
decent exposure to the same thing. Limbo is down to 961 copies, actually. I got to go to your pot. I got to find a pot shop like yours, man. I actually got two wood woodpecker sets. So, you know, the two that came out, those uh, collections. Hence, we were watching that. I've actually been watching some of the uh, the Hammer the, the hammer stuff, and I've been watching a lot of the Rita Hayward stuff as well. Uh, so uh, I will be doing, uh, like, a breakdown of those, and I actually spoke with a, uh, a certain person about maybe talking about one of them on a podcast as well. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes, and I'll keep you guys updated on that. Collar's one of the best releases. I love, I'm very interested in Collar, Christopher. That's one that, that super intrigues me right now. Limbo by AGFA is what happens if Dave Lynch and Nine Inch Nails collaborate on a shot on video horror film? Our friend Nathan may not like that, <laughs> but it's directed between a Krauss. Uh, so that actually kind of uh, intrigues me because I do know what Tina Krauss says and I know her under her other name as well. So that'd be interesting to see uh, what she does with uh, with that. Is that one of her more like uh, Warlock? I would kill to go to a base video. I know they liked it when I was there because I spent a ton of money there. I actually haven't seen the new Woody Woodpecker movie yet. I was kind of ner nervous about it, to be honest with you. But I do want to see it. Alphabet City fun by Fun City Editions is still over a thousand, so that's good. I, I'm hoping that one's going to be in sale during the uh, during the sale. That's something I would like to get because I I've got I start counting. I did like I start counting. Um, the Eleventh Commandment is over has over a thousand copies, so we're good with that with that one. Perfect Strangers, which is a Larry Cohen film that I've never seen, uh, it again has a Oh, it's over a thousand copies. And whatever the heck the naughty Victorians are, that's got over a thousand copies as well. So I'm gonna go through quickly the ones that are that I've like uh, that. I like to watch Sorority Sweethearts, you're good with that one. So Best Friends is uh is another one that I'm kind of interested in. That's kind of down to 768 copies. Everybody needs Batman Funko Pops. Uh, Old Dracula is at 991 copies. It actually has a brilliant like slip on that one. So here's the cover for Old Dracula. And there's the back artwork. Oh, Zodiac... See, one like that, Michael, I, I would love to get because I, I I really want to get Zodiac from them. I might get that one too. The, uh, oh God, what's it called? Oh, well, I'll check it out in a second, actually. Drug Stories. There's one I, re I recommend. It's a fun one. It's down to 506 copy, uh, copies with the limited edition. And uh, that drug, drug Stories was gifted to me, and I really like that one. So uh, that's one I kind of recommend. Oh, Dracula's a fun one. My dad actually loves that one, Jason. I think you and my dad would get along really well. You, got, you guys have the same taste. Now, some people were not big into this one, but I had a lot of fun with it. And me and my better half reviewed it on the Patreon channel, and that is Dr. Jekyll's Dungeon of Death. This is never going to be mistaken for a classic horror film or a classic action film, but it is just so insane that if you like things like that, uh, like, I don't know, like Troll 2, then you'll probably uh, probably like it. Now, um, Dr. Jekyll's Dungeon of Death, by the way. Uh, oh, speaking of Troll 2, here's here's a little trivia on Troll 2 for you. Troll 2, of course, you got you guys know, was made by Claudio Fragasso and, of course, written by him and Rosabella Drudy. Does anybody here know, without looking on IMDb or anywhere like that, who the costume person was for, uh, for Troll 2? Because the costume person for Troll 2 is actually a pretty famous actress among the uh, the exploitation genre. Without looking, does anybody know who the costume person person was? Like, like pretty much the did the wardrobe for Troll Two. I was watching it earlier, 
And I, uh, I said, is that really who I think it is? And yes, yes, it was. <laughs> it's Laurie Gemser, actually. Laurie Gemser, who's known mostly for the Black Emmanuel films. And of course, well, she's done a lot of other stuff, but you know, she is known as the, for, uh, for the Black Emmanuel films. Uh, Laura Gemser is actually the, uh, the costume, uh, like the wardrobe person on that, on Troll 2. Check it out. I'm not lying. <laughs> it's, sorry, I, I should have gave you a hint first. But yeah, it is Laura Gemser. I really should have used that. That would have been an excellent trivia question for my, damn it, for, uh, for the quiz coming up. So expect some things like that. Uh, uh, when we eventually get to do the quiz, okay? LA Wars is at a thousand, so you're good with LA Wars, but it's the one one that I don't think you want to miss out on. Uh, Severed Arms, the same. This one I need to pick up. Uh, Blood Games. Blood Games is one of the most gorgeous is one of the most gorgeous slip covers that I've ever seen. And just to give you an idea, kind of what it looks like. Then that one is down to 466. I do expect uh, the, my dad does know his stuff, man. He really does. My mom, my mom actually has good taste too, uh, but different types of films. I grew up in like a family that was really big and stuff like that. See, that's why Jason, Lord Gemster is definitely a stunning actress. <laughs> so. She was smart to stay behind the camera for a troll too. The Immortalizer is one that I wasn't really sold on initially, but I heard good things about it. Uh, that's down to 439. So that's something to look towards if you like the horror like uh, type of titles that they put out. I really just, it just didn't really like ring with me, but uh, maybe it'll be better uh, than I actually think. Patty Hearst is something that I'm looking strong at. That's a Paul Schrader film. Anything Paul Schrader is uh, is is good, and it's 303 titles. If I was to say that two titles that I expect to sell out are Blood Games and Patty Hearst. Thank you, Hedge. For people that have not yet got the Forgotten Jelly box set volume one, there's still over a thousand copies left there. So if you're picking up the second volume, maybe. If you've got the bones, pick up both volumes at one time and enjoy both of them. Olivia, which is one that I actually really kind of enjoyed. I know that you met Paul Schrader, and I'm very jealous of you, Kubrick. You met a lot of really cool people. Tunjan, have a great night there. Oh, William Forsyth and Patty Hearst, so that's, that's a must for me. Blood Games is a really great title, Warlock. It's one of those that I think is going to creep up on us during the uh the, the black friday sale and we're going to see a lot of a lot of them sell dolly dearest has over a thousand stock which is kind of surprising because dolly dearest is one of those titles that people like screamed and uh, like to have for like a, the longest period of time what doesn't have a lot of copies left and which kind of really surprises me but it really shouldn't because i'll be honest the uh slip cover for this title is probably one of the best slip covers that uh that vintage cinema ever put out and that is uh pale blood uh 158 what i think the johnny depp situation i don't know much about the johnny depp situation you mean like he he was let go from like fantastic beasts i'm not a big fantastic beast fan so uh lucky guy so <laughs> that's probably my best thought on that one Olivia best definitely also known as Prozzi. It's a fun little film. I really enjoyed Olivia. Malabimba, which I thought I had, but I don't, is down to 189 copies. So that is actually intriguing to me. It is directed by Andrea Bianchi. And uh, the volume is much better tonight. Excellent, because I actually like this. I got to say, one thing about, I love my movie library, and I love going down there, but it's nice to have a chair uh to uh to do and this chair is actually kind of heavy so i can't transport it but uh, i i have some ideas some some options on the road too but malabim is something i've heard a lot of great stuff about and it is 
definitely a really cool title. Hell Riders. 722 left. I don't think he will. I mean, I like you got take note of like uh, Fantastic Beast, but uh, I don't think Johnny Depp is ever going to have that uh, have, have that problem uh, in the long run. I think it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a blowback on that. It's gonna it's gonna be kind of like the, uh, and I don't know a lot about it, so I'm really I'm really not not the best person to converse with on this. Don't own a Fez. I don't own a Fez. Uh, but Fez is a cool. Doctor Who, Fez is a cool. Hey, Jared. Welcome, man. Thanks a lot. We're talking here about the Vinegar Syndrome titles tonight. We're looking at the uh, lim the limited edition. I'm going through the uh, the different like amounts that are left so that uh, people can get ready for the sale. If, there's, if I go through anything, by the way, that you're interested in or that you have questions on, if I don't know, then there are people in here that don't know, but I'll definitely be uh, glad to help you out. 722 on Hell Riders. Again, like when it says 722 on Hell Riders, it's a VSA title. So that's not like the other titles. VSA titles sell out. And once they sell out, they're gone. That's it. So please keep an eye on the VSA titles during the sale because a lot of those tend to like end up going quickly. Um, and uh, we get like super surprised. My. Uh, my better half sister, well, one of her sisters actually lives in Casablanca. She has a she has an apartment there. She has a condo right next to us too, but she lives in Casablanca. Hollywood Horror House again, uh, like I'm I'm intrigued by this one. It uh, I I do like the uh, like I like the actors in this one. Uh, there's a commentary with Dave Dakota and Dave Duvall, which I'm very interested in. Uh, Joe Besser from the Three Stooges is in this one. One of my favorite Vinegar Syndrome slashers. Uh, Splatter You uh, definitely is, the, is up there. I, uh, oh God, slashers. Hmm. Well, I'll go over that. Actually, I'll think about that because that's actually a good. That's actually a good question. But if you name me, I'll let you know if I like them. Um, Extra three, watch the skies. Definitely a cool one. How can you not stand the Three Stooges? They're so fun. I utterly adore the Three Stooges. Wait a second. All right, now looking into the newer stuff, <laughs> uh, it's all going to be over a thousand copies. Like Cemetery Terror, definitely still going to be a thousand copies. Necromancer, definitely going to be over a thousand copies of that one. Graveyard Robbers, still over a thousand copies of that one, but I'm grabbing Grave Robbers for sure. Uh, Rest in Pieces, again, a really great title. Deadly Games, everybody should own Deadly Games. Like the 100% own Deadly Games. Who Done It is one, again, that's another one that I find really fun. There's a slasher movie. Chris that I found really fun was Deadly Games. And apparently Grave Robbers is supposed to be, and I don't have you, Chris, one of the best slasher style titles that uh, Vinny Shin was ever put out. And I can only go by what I've heard. I really want that box set, actually. Three Stooges box set. Scary Tales by ADFA still is over a thousand copies. I heard great stuff about that one. I start counting. I do recommend that one. Uh, it's got a great slip cover on that one. And of course, up for pre order from ADFA is She Mob and the Girl from Pussycat, which is an ADFA something weird title. And I got to be honest, I don't think I know a lot about this one, about She Mob or, or, uh, or the Pussycat title. So that does intrigue me. It's got a Q&A with uh, Lisa Petrucci from Something Weird and AGFA's Alicia Coombs, which actually really intrigues me, actually. Crime Spree shorts and trailers from Big Shim's stash. So there may be some interesting stuff here. So this Shima thing is actually kind of interesting right now. I can't show the cover because there is it's not nudity, but it is kind of close to nudity. So uh, unfortunately, I can't show that one. 
Now, as for the partner labels that are that that they work with, it is AGFA, of course, which is American Genre Film Archives. They work with Fun City Editions, and they work with Utopia. They will be working with a uh, another company actually coming up really soon. Now, f- so far with Utopia, the the first one they put out sort out of the limited edition. I think it's going to be standard edition, and that is a Bloody Nose Empty Pockets, which I knew absolutely nothing about. And uh, I, I passed up on because I really didn't know anything about it. Fun State Editions has two movies put out already. It's a car book. If it's, I think it's going to be like a hard, uh, more of a hard case, Craig, uh, when it comes to, uh, or so Warlock, when it comes to war, when it comes to Beastmaster. I, I think you may almost get, not, not plastic so much, but like maybe like a, like a hard liqueured one. Craig's been a big proponent of like scary tales. And it's really intriguing me with that one. So definitely one to, uh, to look at when it comes to there. I'm hoping that's that the, like, I can't say for sure. And I don't know if vinegar cinema said, if you guys know for sure that the partner labels will be on sale as well. Uh, cause I don't know, like obviously they're, they can't say, you know, the price on the partner labels, but, uh, but they're already more like, they're not that expensive in the first place. But if, if, for instance, AGFA titles are on for fifty percent off, and you got AGFA titles with MSRPs they're running from like twenty-seven to nineteen dollars. Then yeah, I'm definitely going to want to grab some AGFA titles. Now select AGFA titles that that I recommend because I do I do trust Craig's opinion. So Scary Tales is definitely one of them. I'm very very intrigued by uh, Shimab. Uh, drug stories for sure. Uh, the McPherson tapes, hundred percent. I would love to have the films of Sarah Jacobson. Uh, scary movies, one that intrigues me as well. Effects is one that I have wanted since I saw the Bay Street video. Same with Wicked World, of course. You guys know I'm a big fan of, the, of things. Blood Lake, of course. I've got Take It Out and Trade. I really like that. Like an Ed Wood double feature. Lady Street Fighter. I recommend that one. That's a really fun one with Renee Harmon. And if you've never seen that one, it's super fun and cheesy that uh, that you definitely want to check out. Violent Years is another Ed Wood one that a uh, double feature that uh, that I recommend. And of course, Zodiac, the Zodiac Killer, which is which I've been wanting for a very long time. A lot of AGFA titles, if they don't, have, if they're not filled with features and like with special features, and they're then a lot of them have like a bonus film on them. On, uh, on all of those. So that I actually do enjoy. So we went through all the limited editions. And we talked about the partner labels as well. Well, Show Factor had a sale a while back, and they're still people are still getting their titles from that sale. Hey there, Richard. Welcome, man. So that's going to be like, uh, I'm not quite sure if they'll have a sale. Now, as for like Severin, uh, the titles that have been announced so far for Severin, let me see if I can get it up here. Bring it up on Facebook. Hey there, CK. Welcome, man. I am extremely excited for this sale. This is probably, uh, this one and the indicator sale were my two sales of, the, of this year, actually, I think. Uh, Severin had a good sale in like Black, like halfway to Black Friday sale. Uh, but it, you know, there was some issues. <laughs> so Severn announced around 10 hours ago that their, the clearance t-shirts for Lost Soul, Santa Sangri, the Sinful Dwarf and Emmanuel, the last cannibals are up, are up on their site now. And, uh, they're, uh, apparently up for, for only $5, but unfortunately the, a lot of the t-shirt that I really wanted, Emmanuel, the last cannibals was not available in my size is there a cap behind oh yes so yes so as for what uh the titles of seven have announced so far and you guys can let me know if any of these like interest you uh for me i've been iffy 
on things here so far? So get this. The next two titles for the Severin Black Friday sale are going to be announced on Monday. So that's tomorrow. One is a late 60s Euro horror. That is Hubert behind me right there, actually. Bruno, I think, is over there. <laughs> and the other isn't a movie at all. So, because that would that not a movie at all? Are we looking at a box set, which it would be a series of movies, or are we looking at something like a documentary? which is kind of a movie. So if one's a Euro horror title and the other is a movie at all, what do you think? Box, like uh, a box set or soundtrack? Something like that. It'd be interesting to see anyway what they announced. So 60s Euro horror, that intrigues me. Now the other titles that have been announced so far have been, of course, uh, has been uh, Family Portraits, The Theater Bazaar, Plague Town, A Slaughter in Plague Town, and The Attic Expeditions, which are very interesting titles. Maybe a TV show, that will be interesting, Shadow. That will be very interesting. I never even thought about that. Or miniseries, yeah, there you go. So those are interesting titles for me to buy, but they're more, but, and, you know, they could be fantastic films, but the Attic Expeditions, Family Portraits, Sodder and Plague Tune, and the Theater Bazaar are more, like, titles that I would buy during a sale to, like, to to try if they're on, like, on a sale price as opposed to something that I would initially buy straight out of the gate um, as at a full price. Apparently, they're going to be doing a Udu Kier pin. So, did either one of those four titles have a Udu Kier in them? But that's not, it was a hint to something else because I do not know enough about those those four films to tell you. So, I'm just going to keep, take a quick look at uh, the Severn site and I want to see like the. The Emmanuel and the Last Cannibal t-shirt in my size is not available. It's even out of stock in the large. I could go for a large. Even. So it's only in the small, and I'm not that tiny. <laughs> the extra large, the 2X and the 3X. And the, oh, no, the, no, the X, the small. I was only available in small. Try before I buy. There's an idea. But the thing is, Ringo, for me, I'm the type of guy that uh, that if it's not a title that I that I'm that I'm sure about, I'll, I'll sometimes sometimes I'll blind buy or sometimes I'll wait. But uh, I've never been disappointed in a title that I bought. That's the thing. The Lindsay Baker set, Jerry, is incredible. Uh, will it be on sale during the uh, the? I'm not quite sure if that'll be on sale. Because Severin has a different style when it comes to uh, when it comes to their sales. Vinegar syndrome goes back usually three months, and, and then everything after three months goes is fifty percent off. That's usually how vinegar syndrome works. And the other titles uh, run at around like uh, oh, that is Bruno up there. It is Bruno after all. Hubert's over there. Um, usually run like at a, at, a, at a slight discount, but not as much as fifty percent. Severin goes back six months. Do I think any more comes with John the Black Friday sales? Uh, I'm trying to think of who would, or who could. I don't think that uh, that Screen Factory would do it. Uh, Indicator just got over a big sale, and it, 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 it's mine just got shipped out, by the way, from Indicator. So I don't really see like 
anybody else going from uh going from there if there's a smaller company i think uh, freight rags if you like t-shirts freight rags always is a has a really good sale on uh on t-shirts but i can never afford to get like all the stuff that so uh i do like the uh one thing i do like with severin is their t-shirt so i uh i do grab that i have a vinegar i would like to see vinegar send them do more t-shirts like see vinegar send them do more soundtracks uh within the releases as well those that'd be something that i'd be looking forward to Well, I think these are going to be the two big companies. And if you like T-shirts, Friday, right? So there's going to be three companies Warlock. I think they're going to be really looking towards when it comes to the uh, Black Friday sale. Unless somebody has like a, a small flash sale, I don't really see anybody kind of doing something at this point. Be, uh, I think Arrow recently had a sale as well. So uh, I'm not seeing another sale coming up there. If, oh, you, those are good blind buys, I'd be. Experiment Terror is a really great great title, uh, and I really like the Fanatic as well. So I think you're going to enjoy those. I like the Pizza Girls t-shirt, actually. That's that's one I've looked at, Jason. You find the quality of the t-shirt pretty cheap for, like, the Intervision? See, I got some some t-shirts from, uh, from Severin. I got, like, uh, maybe it's the fact that they're, like, the actual bundle t-shirts. But the quality, I found them pretty good. Hey there, Marvin. Welcome, man. Because, like, I have like the like their Paranoia shirt with the with the yellow from their Berta Lindsay, uh the Lindsay Baker set, and that t shirt is is uh, is incredible. Um, and it is so freaking soft too. Intervision got Sam Brand. There you go. And I have to say, thank you, Brian, for sharing my uh, my video here with uh, with the Film Appreciation Group on YouTube. I really appreciate that. So, sixties Euro horror. Anybody have an idea what Severin might put out for sixties Euro horror? Any thoughts? And is there any film, either? Warner Archives. That's a sale. Hopefully, they'll have a sale soon. Unfortunately, Marvin, that's the one sale that I can't do because I'm in Canada that I can't do. So I don't keep up with it as much as I do with other ones. I do love Warner Archive titles. It's they're just harder to get here unless I'm up in like Ontario uh, visiting. Then I go to my to go to Bay Street Video and I can grab some Warner Archives there, or uh, sometimes from like uh, third party sellers on uh, Amazon. Due to rights issues, Warner unfortunately can't do their sale here in Canada. I actually reached out to them and asked them about it. Don't really blind. I say I blind, but I don't know. I'm when I was a kid, Ramon. I used to love getting these, uh, like getting surprise packages, and uh, not just that, but I also loved grabbing. Uh, like, I'm not sure if you guys remember this, but there we there used to be like. Uh, for fairly cheap, you get like a, a pack, of, a three pack of comics, right? And uh, they'd be like, you'd see the f comic on the f on the front, you see the comic on the back, but you wouldn't know it was in the middle. Uh, uh, no, me too, CK. I don't know a lot about seven titles so far. Uh, I'm that interested in them, but there's always this like comic that you didn't know what it was going to be, uh, and that's what intrigued me. Well, the archive stuff's in America, so I would have to get people from America to uh, to uh, to ship that to me. Actually, that's not a bad idea. When I when I have more money, I'll reach out to somebody uh, during one of these sales and do that. Thank you so much, Craig. I, I I truly appreciate that, and I have to check my better half. I'm not sure if I sent your your uh, thing off to you yet. If I don't. I will send it on Thursday, so I do apologize. I have to check with her to, because she is the one that does all that. Uh, and I do apologize if I don't. 
Aventura. Criterion is a great company to blind buy with. Blood and Roses, if you guessed for the 60s Euro title. Interesting. At times, work, but there's ways to do it, like to, for shipping to be to be pretty good. Did you know that here in Canada, and I recently found this out, that like for those that don't like know, a lot of us uh, here in Canada, we when we go to, to send off our stuff, we go to shoppers. Like because shoppers has like a shoppers drug mart ha, usually has a uh, a post office in. Next time I send something out though. I'm going to go to my local drugstore and I'll explain uh, like why right now, actually, because uh, were you aware? And I'm sure you probably are. I'll, I'm actually going over the two ven secret vinegar sometimes in a second. Uh, so we really haven't yet, to be honest with you, is that whereas the post office has a set amount that they will charge when you're sending something out, shoppers, drug marts, post office doesn't have to go by the charges that the regular post office does. So they can actually charge you more for shipping than you would get at your local post office. So if you're here in Canada and you're shipping something out, uh, it's worth your effort to go to your local post office. It can mean significant difference in the, uh, in the shipping price, anywhere between like a couple of dollars to six or $12, which obviously can make a big difference. But the two secret titles, one of them is 3D, and the one neat thing we know about this one is it's both types of 3D. So it is going to have real 3D. So if you've got a 3D TV or a Oculus Rift or a PlayStation VR, you can watch it that way. Uh, but it's also got Anograph 3D, which has the red and green glasses. Uh, and so you can watch it that way. And red and green custom glasses for that particular movie is going to be like uh, r included in the 3D release. And there will be, of course, a flat, a flat 2D release of the film as well, in the uh, in with that uh, in with that 3D release. I'm expecting really big things from the Severin, from the Vinegar Syndrome 3D title. Um, a lot of people are are suspecting that it's going to be something along. The, there's a couple things that uh, that people are saying. A lot of people are still saying it could be Silent Madness. There's a couple other titles that people are uh, are guessing. So at this point now, I'm going to say maybe Silent Madness, but I. Uh, I'm open up for uh, from any thoughts from anybody else of what do you think the 3D title could be if it isn't Silent Madness. Uh, is there some, is there something particular Rottweiler or some certain title that you think kind of fits into the clues that they've given so far? As for like the uh, the slasher, the eighty the eighty slasher film, uh, lady slash film that they that the that they said is a kind of a secret title. Uh, I am kind of expecting that one to be um, actually don't panic. Uh, uh, Ruben Galandez Jr. has put out some great stuff. Uh, as far as I know, I know, Joe, that with my uh, PlayStation 4 and my PlayStation VR, I can put on my VR glasses, and I do have the option to actually watch a uh, put a 3D movie into my PS4 because it is a 3D movie player and watch the uh, the movie uh, with 3D on my uh, with, with my glasses on. I assume Oculus Rift can work that way, but I think you need a 3D player for that one as well. But uh, definitely something to look into. I know the PS4 doesn't. But the PS4 does have the benefit of having a 3D player. So you don't have to have a 3D TV. You just need to have the glasses. And with the PlayStation 5, those PlayStation 4s and those PSVR kits are going to get a little cheap. Which fade to black slip will I pick? They're both fantastic, CK. But uh, for me, I'm a traditionalist. I'm probably going to go with the original. I did hear, actually, I heard from Heath that uh, Fred Olin Ray has added some titles to uh, MakeFlix. Uh, I'm actually really excited about that, and I hope it does really well. Uh, I, had, I don't have any MakeFlix uh, titles in my collection, but I would love to have some. And... Uh, I'm, and Fred Olin Ray is a guy that's been working in like in the industry for a long time, so I'd love to see that. I think everybody's got their favorite type. I mean, like uh, some people aren't like, aren't gonna like Jello. Other people are gonna like certain types of Jello. 
Um, the one thing that I will say is that, uh, Craig, every, like, what type of Jello have you been like more like uh, like associated with? Because watching something like a Lindsay Baker Jello, for instance, and watching a Dario Argento Jello are two extremely different beasts. Uh, just to let you know. For having issues with Amazon. Well, it makes sense. I'm glad he did. I'm glad he found a way to uh, to do it. Um, I know a while back, a couple years back, he had some health issues, and he sold off some copies of some of his titles there with uh, with the uh, you know with the autograph, which is actually kind of cool. My dad bought some from Fred Olin Ray because I think my dad spoke with Fred Olin Ray a couple times on on uh, Facebook and that. So my dad wanted to support him. <laughs> Death Rocks on our heels. I actually really like that one. Actually, then maybe you should check out some of it, some, Craig, some of his uh, his, uh, his Giallo stuff. Uh, I recommend Tenor Brain Deep Red, like those, those two for sure. And of course, Bird Crystal Plumage. I tend to watch most of my Giallo's subtitled i don't usually go for the dubs uh, unless i really have to the but deep red is like considered by many craig to be like the definitive like jello i personally tend to brace my favorite but uh deep red is definitely one of those that uh that for some people is the it is like what you put on as like the as like this, much like Friday the 13th 4 is kind of like, this is the Friday the 13th film that puts it all together. Deep Red kind of puts it all together. I mean, so late it is. Yeah, that can make a difference too. Say you want to put something on late at night and you're kind of tired, put down in the background. I don't think I've ever put on Deep Red in the background as I was going. I did that once before, <laughs> going to sleep, because the the soundtrack creeps me out. So I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night having nightmares because of that. The creepy doll. That doll was the, uh, Joe, was the inspiration for, uh, f of course, for the doll that you see in the movie Saw. So uh, if, if you like the creepy doll or you're freaked out about the creepy doll, doll in uh, Deep Red, that's actually the inspiration for the doll in, uh, in Saw. See, I could bring some of this stuff up again during the quiz. So I always remember this stuff. Uh, because that could come up again. Because I'm nothing if not a fountain of useless knowledge. <laughs> My kitty cat behind me? Yes, you are. <laughs> so Some keynote tells on the original language soundtracks. Like, what? Do you have any titles in particular, IB, that stand out? See, like for me, like for the Bava stuff, like I go for, I went for, for I personally went for like uh, Arrow for Bava because they always had all the different like soundtracks and the different like versions of the film there. I like Sleepless actually. Sleepless got, gets a lot of hate and I don't see why. Yeah, The Pit is still one of those titles that I desperately need to grab and it, it can't be imported to Canada. Uh, much like the... These are actual titles. I'm not saying anything wrong. The Bitch and the Stutter movies that I saw only on VHS when I was when I was much younger, and titles that I've always wanted to have in my collection, but I don't own. And uh, they both have Joan Collins. I'm a huge, huge Joan Collins fan, and I did read Jackie Collins novels when I was a kid. I read everything. The Pit is such a fun film, and I haven't seen it since the VHS days. Craig, VHS was the last time I saw The Pit. But if you go on to, uh, if you're in Canada and you go into Kino during the sales, especially, then you'll notice that uh, actually the uh, that there's certain titles that will say, you know, only in only in the U.S. So I have Canada in the U.S., only in the U.S. And I think some are like international is harder to get for them as well. Hey there, Barrett Cinema. Welcome, man. I'm, I'm doing something different tonight. 
Pit. No, Pit is definitely not a Corman film. Uh, the Pit and the Pendulum is a Corman film, though. I haven't seen Jello in Venice. I don't think I have, Jason. I, if, if I have, I don't remember it, but uh, I definitely haven't seen it. Do you know if Venice Cinema is putting out any slips for, for titles that we don't have? There's four slips, Brian, coming for uh, for this sale for uh, catalog titles. They haven't announced what they are yet, uh, but there are four slips that are coming from the uh, coming coming out for this uh, for this sale. So it'll be interesting to see what those slips are. Normally, they give hints in their. Uh, In the when they show the uh, the title, like you know the, the the banner, but the banner here doesn't really. It's like just a a smoky like purple banner. I'm not sure if anybody can think of anything that that might be. Isn't it insane, Craig? That the Pit, which is a fantastic exploitation film, can't sell in Canada from Kino. Actually, I love the editor. Uh, it, it's it is Canadian, and uh, we actually Ramon, we got a special. Of, I don't have it here right now. It's downstairs, but we got a special cover for the editor. And let me see if I can find it here for you. Mm, that's not the one. Yeah, this should be easy to find on here. So, right here. Is the cover to the editor here in Canada? Pretty awesome, huh? Rock Knights of Living Dead is one that I that I do have, thanks to a trade with uh, with Death Bomb, uh, and that is one that I'm glad I got. That one's actually getting kind of low. I, I have seen most of the Astron Six films actually. Uh, and I got the Astron 6 thing that Troma put out, the two disc edition with all the short films. Actually, uh, uh, some of the Roddy titles with the slip covers, like the earlier ones, that would be actually a good idea. Anything on my Christmas list right now? Oh, there's a few things. Oh. <laughs> but I'm actually going to do a video about that. Turbo Kid was done by Astron, as far as I remember. Yeah. I remember the early stuff, of course. Uh, Father's Day uh, was put out by uh, by Astron 6. That's a very insane film. Oh, the fly box from Scream is, is amazing. I don't have it yet. I've seen it, and uh, I want it. Hundred percent less poo eating is always a good thing. <laughs> so I'll always I'll always go with that, you know. I still need to grab Taboo Four. I was going to do a uh, review uh, on a uh, on the on some of the adult films. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to move that over to my Patreon or not because I'm concerned about like getting flagged. At, just for for you so you guys know um recently every single video that i have made has gotten demonetized for like 
usually around three or four days, sometimes a week. And uh, ironically, one of my most innocent videos when I talked about Mill Creek and the new Mill Creek. Remember the new Mill Creek video when I did that one, guys? Uh, that one got got uh, got put on limited monetization. So I'm trying to be very careful when it comes to uh, the stuff that I some of the stuff that I put on here right now. So my Patreon supporters, my Super Chat supporters, um, thank you so much because right now uh, YouTube's been hitting me hard, <laughs> and that has not been a good thing, especially close to Christmas. Sam Dish is Sav Savage Streets is a movie that everybody should own. It's just a really good film. I'd recommend it to anyone. Utterly adore Savage Streets. So let's. <sighs> So here to give you like an example of what I mean, I did my Friday Night Live video, which talked about like comic books and it talked about like noir. So you're not going to be, I can't even see it there. I'll do it here. I'll show you what I mean. So for those that don't do YouTube, for those who know, uh, see that little ye little yellow thing there? That's uh, normally that should be green when you monetize a video. The one thing that you don't want to see anytime you make a video is a uh, is that like yellow, like uh, dollar sign, because the yellow dollar sign means you're not monetized, or you or they put you on limited monetization. And all you can do is just go in and like request a uh, a review. And sometimes, ran like it seems random, they'll give they'll they'll do it. Uh, but other times they'll uh, yeah. And it's been hard lately. Recently, almost every video that I've done has got demonetized. And often, like for like, sometimes you keep them demonetized. Other times, for like four or five days, got my brain blown. Go ahead. That's a little peek behind the, the end curtain when it comes to this. So if anybody's there doing YouTube, uh, then that's like uh, something to uh, to keep into uh, keep in mind. <laughs> Why would he remake Scorpion King? Get some better effects, I guess. Uh, he, he has so much more to do. Man, man, don't cool moods alone. She gets slips. I wouldn't be surprised if he did actually. Didn't Mad Men already? No, no. That was the other one that slipped. Welcome back, Kubrick. I think the reason that they, that like, they, like, they dislike streaming so much is because it's hard to control uh, when it comes to uh, that, and they do tend to like... Uh, but I think that a lot more people are getting in to the whole streaming aspect of it. Probably out of five. CK, you're probably right. So for me right now, uh, I do try to, um, I do monetize like for for people that are new, and that are that I've ever asked, do I do I monetize my videos and all that type of stuff? Yes, I do, um, because at times it's it's saved my butt. Um, obviously, I'm not a person that like I have two thousand subscribers. Uh, it, it, I'm not a person that that makes a lot of money when it comes to like uh, when it comes to YouTube, especially right now. But uh, it's like it's something that I have been trying, like as you guys know, to do more with, uh, and uh, trying to make more. I would love to be able to do this. So, you know, dream of mine, way way out there type of dream of mine. That's why I'm trying to like up my equipment and the stuff that I do, uh, and so hopefully you guys enjoy that, and more people like, more people share, subscribe, that type of thing. Um, 
Control is always issue. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's like it's like the big brother type of thing. But there you go. I think I don't want to be here complaining about things. So I think maybe now is the perfect time to end the video before I, I get on a downward spiral. And those are never, ever fun for anybody who wants that. All right. We talked tonight about Vinegar Syndrome's limited editions. We went through all this stuff. And I'll be honest with you, CK, the last couple of weeks, I almost did. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, like you've the there's been so much like that's been going on behind the scenes. Like whether it's been YouTube demonetizing stuff, or just having some issues with uh, like a bit more stressful uh, than I almost did. No doubt, think up. I like that. That's where I. Anyway, I am Aaron. This is not my movie library, but this is my uh, this is my office, and I do a lot of work here. I was going to watch a Vinegar Syndrome movie tonight. I was actually going to sit down and watch Cemetery of Terror. But instead, I decided it will be an amazing time to spend with you guys. So, already? Joining me. It's supposed to be joining me. There we go. Thanks so much for joining me. I am Aaron. You are the Cult of Cinema. For my Patreon subscribers, my Crimson Cult, thank you so much. Uh, you guys definitely uh, helpful in saving my butt. And as always, my uh, my Super Chatters, you guys are amazing as well. And uh, Super Chatters, there's going to be something special coming up with the with the uh, with the with the big quiz. So we will see that soon. Talk to you later, guys. I am going to go and grab some tea before I go to sleep because I am not remotely tired. <laughs> Have a great night.